dilute and concentrated solutions are different with respect to the quantity of solute. To elaborate the first factor, that is the effect of concentration of electrolyte. Let's take the example of electrolyte hydrochloric acid. We have dilute solution of hydrochloric acid. So there are two possibilities. In the dilute solution, there is more quantity of water as compared to hydrochloric acid. Similarly, what will happen at anode? At anode, there is a competition between chloride negative ions, Cl negative and OH negative ions. As Cl negative ions are in lesser quantity, so they will not deposit at anode. On the other hand, OH negative ion will be deposit. As we know that oxidation takes place at anode, so hydroxide ions will get oxidized and oxidation takes place. As a result, we will get bubbles and these bubbles predicting the emission of or the fusion of oxygen gas. While on the other hand, when we have concentrated solution of hydrochloric acid, then the case will be totally different. At anode, rather than OH negative ions, chloride ions will be dominated. So oxygen gas will not fused off rather than chloride ions will be oxidized at anode. Reason is that the concentration of electrolyte or the concentration of the solute is more than that of concentration of solvent that is water. So chloride ions will dominate over OH negative ions. Next factor that is the second factor which affect electrolysis is type of electrodes. Basically